If you've ever opened up an Unreal Rig inside a Blender, you can know it looks like this. Yeah. It doesn't look like a normal rig inside a Blender. This is what it should look like. Today, I'm going to quickly show you how to rig in Blender for Unreal. So that you can use the exact same mannequin skeleton and get all the animations that comes with Unreal. Let's go. All right, cool. So this page will be linked down below. It's just a Gumroad link. And then here you can get the add-on. You can just tap in however much you want. Uh, so if you go to the content of it, you can see over here that we have Game Rig Tools Unreal Module. And then you just got to go download the Game Rig Tools Unreal V111. And when you're over in Blender, just go edit, preferences, go down to add-ons, and then just go on install. And then I'm just gonna go find my game, open it, install add-on, and just click on the box. And you can see it's over here on the right. Cool. And then if you have a character like this, all you have to do to start using the add-on is just go to top right and click initiate mannequin. So you can see you can have the Unreal 4 and the Unreal 5. I'm just gonna go click initiate mannequin. And you can see it's slightly too big for my character. So you can either just rescale your character if you want to make it actually be like whatever, how tall it is, 1.8 meters. Or you can just scale down the rig itself. If you go select this one, so you can just sit, go up here. Yeah, so if you go select the tweak one and go to pose mode, uh, you can see we have a couple different bones here. So you can see the triangle ones is kind of just for the shape and stuff, and you can just scale it up and down. Now, what we're going to start doing is like kind of changing the, the proportions to actually fit our character. It's sometimes easier to just click on the little joint tweak button uh, and you can kind of just start changing the shape like this. So that helps with just place because then you can just like place it on every joint that you need just like this. I'll probably bring the spine down a bit, just like this. Join the neck, then bring the neck down, middle and head bone, okay? And then we can position the shoulder like there, make sure it lines up in the side view. And then we can just grab this piece and move the whole hand. And then if your hand's bigger, like mine, get it up if it's too big or too small. There's a low poly, so it doesn't really matter too much about getting like all the like bones and stuff positioned properly. But if you do want to get everything positioned properly, you can get the finger tweak or just the fingers in general. Um, and then just like move, you can scale them up and down and you can put the finger tweak and actually change the position of each bone like that. Then what you're gonna do is click apply rig. And now that will take the deform rig. Uh, so you can now have the tweak, just click on the little button over here. And I can see we have the deform rig and this works fine. Now there's the tweak rig, which is basically just to build the actual shape, get the right proportion. Then you have the deform rig. This is just one that makes your life so much easier when actually doing the weight painting uh, instead of having to use that real one so we can hire the real one for now they all have the exact same names all the bones but just in the way that actually works inside a blender properly so you can see the rig works normally and what we can do is just start weight painting our character so i'm just going to select them the mesh and then select the arm armchair and go automatic weights so this is when you start weight painting your character uh i'm not going to do it right now but i do have the tutorials on it it's pretty just going through just going weight painting for every bone uh just going through all of these uh, until it all looks correct when you kind of move the bone around. Once you've done that, so you've done all your weight painting and stuff, then just go switch parent armature. And now if I go unhard the Unreal Rig, you can see now it works fine, like this. You can see, we can start rotating all the bones and the character follows it properly. Now that we have this, we can just go select our mesh. So make sure you have your mesh selected, so whatever part you have of it, then shift select your armature. Then I'm gonna go file, export and fbx all right so first off you can give it a name so i'm just going to say like uh, unreal rigging test then i'm just going to click selected objects so if you have any other sex uh, objects in your scene that you don't want it's pretty useful just turn that on i'm just going to change it to mesh and armature as well just in case you have anything else selected like a camera or something then we can also to apply transforms and then i'm going to go geometry you can choose it to face and that'll basically just mean it won't smooth it properly so what, like if you sometimes if you export the games will be like smooth and you don't really want that uh, armature turn off leaf bones you don't want that uh, and if you have animation click bake animation if you don't just turn it off Yep, you can click export FBX. All right. So when you're over in Unreal, all you got to do is I have a third person template up here right now. What I'm going to do is the bottom, you can add a folder. So I'm just going to go new folder. Uh, let's go like player model. Let's go open it. I'm just going to go right click and go import into game and then find my FBX file. And then it should pop up with this. I'm just going to choose the top one, the SK mannequin. And uh, if you have anime, uh, just turn the animations off if it is and click import. All right. And then we have this skeletal mesh over here in the bottom right if we go to over the third person and they go blueprints and you can see bp third person character then it should open like this now in the top right uh, the top left go to viewport 
uh, if we select the mesh like this, we can see it should be S game curly symbol, and then we can just do the model. And you can see now it is posed. Like the shoulders a bit high, but that's probably something to do with my rigging and not having it actually correct. But yeah, if you go Control S and save now, and then go back to the main scene, and then if we just go click play. play you can see now that my character is working well. So we can see all the animations are working fine. So sometimes you just have to play around with the rig a bit just to get it to work. So I think you can go back to the tweak uh, rig and then just like fix some of the position. So I think I just need to lower the shoulders a bit. Uh, but yeah, you can see my character is in Unreal and working with all the animations. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's been useful. Click over here for another video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Cheers and have a good day.